So when hearing that dark Phoenix is out today, some might expect to see a line of folks waiting outside a brewery in Scott's edition. But nay, I'm referring to the title of the latest and greatest comic book movie yet to be released this summer. Ladies and gentlemen of NASA, this is Charles Xavier. Help is on the way. This particular moment in this particular timeline finds those kooky ex people as heroes in 1992 lending a hand to NASA with broke down space shuttles and otherwise living in harmony with us non mutant folks. Wouldn't you know it though, some weird galactic purple stuff enters Gene on a rescue mission, which leads to Mo Powers, Mo Problems, and a new nickname. Did you hear what the kids are calling you? Phoenix. Now full of weird galactic purple stuff and a healthy dose of daddy issues, this very special episode of X-Men finds Gene trying to work through some heavy stuff, namely coping with a rage that's been uncovered inside her while the rest of the X-Men squabble about what to do with her and her strange new friend. That power destroyed everything it ever came into contact with until you. The movie has some familiar plot lines with sparring ideologies between Xavier and Magneto, and the X-Men doing their thing is always fun to watch. But Dark Phoenix is definitely one of the weaker films of the franchise. I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. There are a few forced dramatic moments that came off a bit cheesy, and I LOL'd a couple times at moments not intended to be funny. Call it heart, call it an early 90s soundtrack, call it Wolverine, but something was missing from this movie. And it's worth pointing out, this is the director's first film. Jeez! So Dark Phoenix was overall enjoyable to watch, but when compared to other recent comic book movies I've seen, can be easily dismissed. I'm not sure where the trajectory of this timeline is now taking our mutant friends, but I hope they find some intended humor along the way, and maybe the Wolverine guy. I thought Dark Phoenix just wasn't all that good. Chris Jenkins, CBS 6.